how are you doing today? Excellent, how are you? Very good, I'm good. So, um, my name is Gustavo. I'm gonna be your student physical therapist today. Uh, how are you feeling today? How you been? Uh, not too bad, you know. Okay, good. Well, uh, I'm just gonna be asking a couple questions about what you do on a day-to-day -day basis mm -hmm. and how, you, how these symptoms you've been feeling, having are kind of feel throughout the day. Mm -hmm. Just to get to know what's going on a little better. Yeah. And then we'll start to get to figure out what's going on exactly. Also, it should take a couple of minutes. And are you okay with that? Does that sound right? Oh, yeah, that's good. All right, perfect. So, first of all, um, how old are you currently? Um, I am 36. All right. And uh, what do you do for a living? Um, I'm an English professor. Okay. Uh, is this like a high school? Oh, community college. Community college, okay, cool, where at? Oh, uh, Blinn. Blinn, great. Um, I have a couple friends of mine are going there currently. Oh, cool. That's a great place. Uh, how many hours a day do you work? Uh, I'm in there about six hours a day. Okay. Yeah. Okay, uh, how many days a week? Uh, two. Oh, just two. Just, just a little, okay. little community college gig, yeah. Um, what else do you like to do with your, what, what else do you do with your day? Um, well, I'm either at school or it depends on what day of the week it is. I could be at school, then I'll get out of school. Some days I go to an instructor spin class, other days I'll go read some poetry. Okay. Yeah. And uh, the spin class, how often do you go to that? Uh, I'll do about three days a week. Okay. Yeah. Did you say you work at home too? Uh, I do, I do. Yeah. Okay. Um, it's, I mean, that's like, you know, being a teacher, it's I got to put in just as much time outside of class as I do in. Yeah. So. That's probably about six hours a day, twice right, a week, yeah. too. I can imagine. Sounds like a very hard profession. I probably couldn't do it myself. Yeah, me either. I don't, yeah. All right. Do you do any exercise? Uh, just the, whatever I'm instructing in second <coughs> class, I usually count that as my exercise. Okay. Um, how, how has that exercise been going so far? Um, well, ever since this stuff started happening, it's been pretty difficult, to be honest. Uh, yeah? Pretty painful, yeah. Okay. Uh, anything else you like to do as a hobby, maybe? Um, the poetry. The poetry readings. I love reading me some poetry. Okay. How's that going so far? Uh, well, you know, I, I can't be really, uh, I can't be really expressive. Okay. Uh, which makes it really awkward to read my poems. I can only imagine. They're not very appropriate. I don't um, know much about poetry, but I can appreciate the way it is. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, it's, it is it's difficult to be expressive. It's pretty painful. Okay. So I understand you're having some pain. Um, can you kind of show me where that's going on? Sure. Um, it's sort of a constant break here. Right around back here on the right or left side? Um, it's on the right side. Okay. Okay, so right about here? Yeah, right back here. Is it okay if I place my hands on you? Sure. Too? Okay, go right about here then? Yes, okay. All right. And how would you describe that? Pain. Um, it's just, it's always there, you know, it's just constant, um, and it's just, it's really achy. Yeah. Yeah, oh yeah, it's just constant ache, yeah. Okay. And, uh, how would you describe that pain right now? Um, not too bad, it's probably like a 2 out of 10. 2 out of 10? Yeah. What about its worst? Oh, it can jump all the way up to 7 out of 10. Okay. And at its best? Um, it'll drop down to a 1. Are you having any pain anywhere else by any chance? Anything else I should be aware of? Um, I, I am, uh, right, like right over my left eye sometimes. Okay. Yeah. So is it uh, right in your eyes or more like a headache, would you say? Um, well, it's near my left eye, but it's more of like a headache. It, it's, and it, it kind of comes and goes. Okay. Um, it's not really, it's not there all the time. All right, so well, do you know what kind of uh, pattern, or where do you think you feel the headaches go around? Um, it's sort of like around. Okay, kind of like that. Yeah. Clear line, okay. Yeah. And um, how would you rate that pain, the, the headache pain right now? Oh, it's not bad at all. It's maybe like one out of ten. Okay. How about at its worst? It'll uh, it'll hop all the way up to a five. Okay, and at its best? Um, nothing. Okay. How would you describe this headache pain you're you're feeling? Uh, it's sharp. Pretty sharp. Yeah. When it happens, it's definitely sharp. Okay. How often does it come on? 
Um, well, whenever I can feel the, uh, this pain start increasing, <clears throat> then I know that this, this is going to follow pretty soon. Okay, so do you feel like these two pains you're having are related to each other? Oh, yeah, absolutely, yeah. All right. Make note of that. Um, what kind of things tend to make this pain worse? Uh, the main thing is really just looking up uh, at clients whenever I'm instructing uh, my spin class. Okay. During the week, yeah. That's usually, that, that's the main thing. And of course, uh, trying to express myself uh, when I'm reading my poetry, that those are the two main ones. Okay. How would you rate the uh, looking up pain on a scale of zero to 10? Um, by the end of spin class, it's, it's all the way up to a seven out of 10. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. And uh, anything else, any other things that make the pain kind of worse? Uh, well, in the, in the spin class, uh, once, you know, like I, like I kind of alluded to it before, once this pain starts coming on and it reaches its sort of peak at seven out of 10, then like this pain, it definitely comes on. And it's not even by the end of spin class, it's like five minutes or so, like this, this pain always starts coming on. It comes on after about five minutes? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, all right. Anything to make that pain feel better? Um, usually just like relaxing, not putting my head in that uh, position. Um, okay. Yeah. Just uh, relaxing. What does that kind of like maybe do? You like to lay down? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just unloading it. Just making sure like, there's like absolutely like no load on it. Um, okay. And just avoiding really just looking up really is mainly what uh, what gets me. Okay. All right. All right. Um. Anything else you think of? Is that is that about it right there? Yeah. yeah that's about it. Okay. Um, how about during the morning? How does this um, the uh, neck pain on the, on the back of your head tend to feel? Oh, it's better. It is better after a nice rest for sure. Okay. Wakes up pretty good. Mm -hmm. How about throughout the day? How does that get tend to get? Uh, it you know what? It's really dependent on my day. You know, after working all day or doing spin class or poetry, like it gets worse throughout the day. Okay. So, so throughout all your activities, tend, tends to get a little worse. Oh yeah. What about at night? Um, that is really when I notice the headache, com the headache comes on. Yeah? Yeah, at night time. All right. All right, okay. So, um, by the way, so I got the form you filled out in the front mm -hmm. with all the questions about your history. Mm -hmm. Everything seems to be looking all right. Mm -hmm. um, I noticed you mentioned you have a attention deficit disorder. But uh, how is uh, are you managing that anyway with uh, your doctor? Yeah, yeah, I talked with uh, my doctor, and my doctor prescribed me some Adderall, so I've got that under control, I'd say. Okay, very good. Um, do you have any X-rays done? Any imaging of any kind? Um, let's see, uh, yeah, uh, I got some uh, taken about four days ago. Okay, anything come up with that? No, no nothing, nothing remarkable. Okay, and uh, how about your any medication? Um, I take uh, ibuprofen, about six hundred milligrams. Okay, um, and the Adderall too. Yes, yes, one. Okay. Yeah. All right. So can, can tell me about how these uh, this pain that you're fe feeling came on initially. Uh, well, the neck pain's been on and off for a little while now. Um, I didn't really notice it too bad until like three weeks ago. Just went up, gazing, uh, gaze at the old stars, like I, like I love to do. Mm -hmm. uh, and um, yeah, that's when the neck pain really, really started, you know, asserting itself, as well as then the headache, which is the headache's brand new. But uh, yeah, and it's just been, you know, it's been getting worse ever since then. Okay. And um, have you ever had any previous history of this kind of pain you're having? Not that I can think of. No. No. Okay. So moving forward, we're going to be learning a couple of exercises and stretches that we're going to be teaching you mm -hmm. to take home with you so you can work on it while we're not here at clinic. Mm -hmm. Do you have any kind of barriers to learning that might um, interfere with this ability to us help you out? Um, not that I can see. I know you have a maybe the attention oh, deficit. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I do have the attention deficit disorder. Uh, so yeah, sometimes if I don't take my meds on time, that'll, it'll be difficult. So Okay. Well, I'm sure we can work around that. Yeah.
Do you have any particular learning style? Um, uh, just physical, just like seeing, doing. Okay, I'll make that with that too. Um, anything in particular that you want to accomplish at the end of all this? Uh, I just want my normal motion back. Uh, I want to be able to, you know, regularly teach that spin class and express myself uh, during poetry. It's really what, or really, really what I want. I want to feel like I can give my life back, kind of. Yeah. Okay. Seems like we can get that done for you. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and start trying to do some tests and figure out what's going on exactly with you. All right. All right. So before we begin, um, can you tell me how I, well, how would you rate your pain right now? Um, it's uh, my next scale of zero to ten. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Never mind. Uh, my next about a two out of ten. Okay. And do you, are you feeling a headache right now, by any chance? Uh, barely. Just as about like one. Okay. So I'm just gonna move your shoulders around really quick. Mm -hmm. It's gonna require that I place my hands on you and kind of move your shoulders, your arms around. Is that okay with you? Yeah. Oh yeah. Also, are you wearing a sports bra by any chance? Uh, yes, I am. Okay, because uh, it would help me a lot if you kind of remove your shirt. That way, I can get a better sure. look at what's going on with your shoulders and your neck. Sure. Thank you very much. All right, so can you kind of just raise your arm forward like this, this left arm? Mm -hmm. All right, anything with that? Mm -hmm. All right, I'm just gonna have a little bit of pressure. Sure. Anything with that? Mm -hmm. No, okay. And you raise your arm up to the side this way. All right, anything with that? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm just gonna have pressure. Anything with that? Mm -hmm. No. That arm to the back this way. Anything with that? Mm -hmm. Okay, now there's pressure. Anything with that? Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Mm -hmm. Let's do the other arm now. All right. Arm straight up forward. All right. Anything with that? Oh. Okay. Anything with this? Mm -hmm. All right, go back down. Mm -hmm. Arm out to the side. Anything with that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Anything with this? No. Okay. And arm back. Anything with that? No. Okay. Anything with this? Mm. All right, great. Uh, okay, so what I'm gonna have you do next is if you could just slump forward like this without kind of bending your neck too much, just think about your upper back okay. starting to make a curve, yeah. all right? I'm gonna apply some pressure. Do you feel any pain with this right now? Mm. All right, so I'm just gonna apply some pressure here on your shoulders. Let me know if you feel anything. Anything with that? Mm. Okay. Kind of good. Anything with this? Mm -hmm. All right. Very good. Now, if you can put your arms up like this for me, go ahead and turn to your right for me. Do you have anything with that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Anything after that? No. no. Now turn to the other side. Anything with that? No. Very good. Kind of a pressure. Anything with that? Mm. All right, very good. All right, so next, could you please stand up for me? Sure. So I'm just gonna keep checking on what's going on. Mm -hmm. um, go ahead and bend down, try and touch your toes for me as best you can. Sure. Do you have any pain with that right there? Uh, no. Okay, I'm just gonna add a little bit of pressure here to the back. All right. Do you have anything with that? No. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm trying. Uh, okay, now if you go ahead and place your hands behind your legs here, mm -hmm. and go ahead and lean back without trying to move your hips too much. Anything with that? Mm. I'm just gonna have a little pressure here. All right. Okay. Anything with that? No. Very good. Now if you could bend over to the side this way for me. Mm -hmm. Very good. And I'm gonna pressure anything with this right now? No. Okay. How about this? That's good. Other side? Mm. Anything with that? Mm. Okay. How about that? That's good. All right. Very good. All right. So that seems to be all good. All right. Um. Let's go ahead and take a look at your posture real quick. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. 
I'm not sure if you noticed this before, but head's kind of deviated a little to the left. Mm -hmm. That's not a big issue. Just a little observation I'm making. Yeah. All right. Now, what I want to have you do is if you could just walk up and down this aisle for me really quick. Sure. And back. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay. So next, um, I just want to get to know what sorts of particular emotions are causing your pain. Maybe think about what you do in your day-to-day -day lessons or class in your spin classes. Okay. Any, anything in particular you feel causes the most pain? The easiest way I can show this is by it's like spin class and kind of. My hands are kind of like down here. Okay. And I'm spinning. And I'm riding. But like, all my clients are like up here. Yeah. So I got like, oh, yeah, that right there. Okay. Yeah, that right there. All right. And um, what would you rate that pain that we just experienced right now? Um, uh, it's about a four to ten. Okay. All right. All right. I'm just going to take a couple of quick measurements now. All right. Check how your neck's moving real quick. Sure. Take this real quick. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and take a seat. Sure. All right. So, first I'm going to have you do is look back for me, right. keeping your back straight, straight like this. Yeah. Okay. Right about. Oh, ah, all right. That causes your pain right there? Yeah. Right, go ahead and look down for me. Good. How did that feel for you? Um, that was definitely painful. Okay. Um, yeah. All right, so now go ahead and look down for me. All right. As much as you can. All right, that looks pretty normal. Mm -hmm. And now if you could look over to the right for me. Okay. And uh, that gets a little painful right there. Yeah. Let me go ahead and measure that. Okay. Now, if you can go ahead and just bend your, have your ears come closer over to your shoulders, okay. bending your neck sideways. Okay, that looks pretty good. All right. Now the other side uh, uh, looks pretty good too. Mm -hmm. All right, very good. So what I'm gonna do next is just add, do the same motion, so I'm just add a little bit of pressure on top of it. Okay. I want you to tell me what you feel with them, okay? Sure. So the first one we're doing is backwards, mm -hmm. just like that. Yeah, oh, okay. Right there. Okay, it's a little painful right yeah, there. Yeah, it hurts, yeah. Okay, let me draw that real quick. Now, if you go ahead, go ahead and look down for me. Right there, keep going. Nope. Oh, uh, okay. What did you feel right there? Um, I just that that pain in the back of my neck. It okay. Like a, it felt like a pull, kind of. All right. Yeah. Uh, let's go ahead and turn to your right for me. All right. A little bit of pressure there. Oh, yeah, that hurts. Okay, let's go ahead and turn back. Yeah. All right. And now to the left. Okay, that looks pretty good. All right. Very good. Just make some quick notes of that here. All right. So next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a couple tests that are kind of, kind of. Um, test how your sensation is around different parts of your neck and shoulder and arms. Mm -hmm. And what's going to happen is I'm going to run my finger just like that on both sides of your arm, mm -hmm. both sides of your body, sorry. And you're going to tell me if it feels the same or not, all right? Yeah. So I'm going to have you do is close your eyes for me. All right. Let's start it, all right? I'm going to start it up here. Mm -hmm. Does this feel the same as this? Mm -hmm. Does 
this feel the same as this? Mm -hmm. Does this feel the same as this? Mm -hmm. Does this feel the same as this? Mm -hmm. Does this feel the same as this? Mm -hmm. Does this feel the same as this? Yeah. Does this feel the same as this? Mm -hmm. Does this feel the same as this? Mm -hmm. Does this feel the same as this? Mm -hmm. All right. Very good. Looking pretty normal so far. Okay. I'm just going to check your strength here a little bit. All right. What I'm going to have you do first is look down for me. Mm -hmm. I want you to try and add some resistance to my hand, okay? Okay. So ready? When, when I start saying hold, you're gonna start adding, you're gonna start pushing against my hand, okay? Mm -hmm. Ready, hold, hold, hold. Very good. Mm -hmm. Next, I want you to um, add some pressure here on the side of your head here. Mm -hmm. So hold that, hold, hold, hold. Mm -hmm. Hold, hold, hold. Mm -hmm. Very good. Now I'm gonna have you go bend towards the left side over here. Mm -hmm. So hold that for me. Mm -hmm. Hold, hold, hold. Mm -hmm. Other side. Hold, hold, hold. Very good. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have you raise your shoulders for me here. Mm -hmm. Hold that for me right there. Mm -hmm. Hold. Hold, hold, very good. Bring your arms up for me to the side here, right about there. Mm -hmm. Ready to hold that for me. Mm -hmm. Hold, 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 mm -hmm. very good. Now what I want you to do is bring your arms up like this for me. Mm -hmm. And I want you to pull against my arm. Get ready. Hold, hold, hold. Mm -hmm. The other one, hold, Hold, hold. Okay, so bring your wrist out back here. Mm -hmm. Want you to try and hold that for me as best you can. Hold, hold, hold. Same over here. Hold, hold, hold. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now I want you to push against my arm this way, the opposite side. Of it, right? Mm -hmm. Hold, hold, hold. Mm -hmm. This side of here. Ready? Hold, hold, hold. Let's bring your wrist in this way. All right. Hold, hold, hold. Mm -hmm. Over here. Hold, hold, hold. Mm -hmm. Very good. Bring your hands out like this. Mm -hmm. uh, what I'm going to have you do is curl your fingers first. I want you to hold that for me. Mm -hmm. Ready? Hold, hold, hold. Mm -hmm. Okay, now your thumbs up. And press down. Hold that for me. Mm -hmm. Hold, Hold, hold. Okay, now your fingers. Kind of spread out like that. I'm just gonna push in. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good. Now bring your fingers in for me. All right. Very good. Everything looks normal so far. Just gonna do a little bit of reflex testing. Mm -hmm. Uh. Okay, you're finished. Just put your arm up like this for me. Okay. This one right here. And go ahead and relax as best you can. Very good. Uh, let me check the other side. Ready? All right, very good. Go back here. And relax. All right, we're good. Okay, very good. Uh, next, I'm gonna do over here. Just try and relax again. Okay, very good. Very good. Okay, that's looking pretty normal. So next, I'm gonna do a couple of tests that are kind of gonna help me figure out what's going on a little bit better. So what you can do is go ahead and lie down your back here. All right. What I want you to do is I'm going to place your head into a position. Mm -hmm. And what I want you to do after that is hold it as best as you can, all right? All right. 
So I'm going to place my hands here under your head. Is that all right? Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring you up, and then you're going to nod right there. I want you to hold that, okay? For as long as you can. I'll tell you when to stop. Answer. Okay, very good. Can I let go? That is a pass. Okay. Next, um, you can go ahead and scoot back from the ancestral sure. hand. <clears throat> a little bit more, kind of almost kind of your head lit coming off the side here. Mm -hmm. What I'm going to do is place your head in a position, and I want you to tell me if you feel anything with that, okay? Yeah. Do you feel anything different there? Mm -hmm. Okay. How about there? No. All right, very good. You can relax. Could you go ahead and sit up for me again one more time, sure. please? Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply a little bit of pressure here on your head. Okay. I want you to tell me if you feel any change in your pain, okay? Sure. We're going to go ahead and bend over here to the right. Mm -hmm. Feel any change there? No. All right, I'm going to add some pressure now. You feel any change with that? <laughs> Very good. All right, lastly, if you don't mind, I'm gonna have you flip over on your stomach sure. and face down here for me. Just gonna go ahead and feel around your neck. I want you to tell me if you feel any kind of pain or stiffness, okay? Sure. Next, just raise the table a bit. All right. You don't feel any kind of stiffness or pain, all right? Okay. Uh, about where? Oh, the right side of my head. Okay, kind of like where your headache is? Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Just going to feel a little bit around here at your upper neck. All right. Feel a little stiff. All right, you can go ahead and come back up for me. Okay. All right, so after all of that was done, uh, how would you say you're feeling right about now? Um, three out of 10. Three out of 10, okay, is that your neck pain? Uh, neck pain, yeah. Yeah, what about a headache? Do you have any of that coming on? Um, yeah, a little bit, yeah. Okay, how would you rate that? Um, about two out of 10. Okay. What about your neck? Does that feel any kind of different? Uh, just, just a little looser. Okay. Yeah. All right. I think your pain went up a little bit, so I can I think we know what's going on now. So it, what I'm thinking is going on is with all the work that you do at your desk and um, with the cycling that you're doing, having to look out constantly, that could be causing a little bit of stiffness at your upper neck. So what's gonna happen is you're gonna have some difficulty looking up, maybe even turning towards that side. And the more and more you do that, the more, and the more the pain goes up there, it's more than likely to cause the headache to come, 
the pain to come up to your head and cause the headache, right? So what we need to do in order to kind of help fix that is just provide some gentle motions over there and some stretches, maybe some exercises down the road, and down and hopefully later on that'll tend to resolve on itself. Yeah, I I uh, I hate to interrupt you, but uh, I really I've pretty much taken care of my body my entire life. Um, I just don't really see how this is happening. It's pretty frustrating. I was an athlete in high school, college, uh, and I just really don't believe that anything's wrong with my neck. I just think I just need to give it a couple nights rest. Uh, it's really my husband that convinced me to come here. I understand. Um, it, it could be hard to take this all in with all the pain you're experiencing and how busy you are, but neck pain is actually a little It's more common than you think, and pretty much anyone that is active and is constantly working at their desk tends to experience these kind of pains. Okay. But it is very fixable slowly over time. It's just going to take a little bit of work and patience, but you can do it. I'm sure you can. Okay. All right. So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some gentle motions and some exercises that are going to help kind of make the restriction you're feeling here at the right side of your neck a little better. Mm -hmm. So what you can go ahead and do is lie back down on your back for me. Sure. <clears throat> so what this should do, actually, could you sit back up for me really quick? Sure. I want you to really quick try and turn over to your right for me. Turn it over, turn it right. Turn it right, yeah. So I'm gonna need how far you go with that. Yeah, it's pretty good for me. Yeah, it stops about right there. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Do you have any pain with that? Oh uh, yeah, it does. How would you rate it? Um, it's about like three. Yeah. Okay, three or four. That's good. Yeah. So now can you go ahead and lie back down? Sure. Maybe? What I'm going to do first is this technique that's going to help loosen up a lot of the muscles back there that are potentially kind of tight. All right, so just go ahead and relax while I do this for you. Okay. How does that feel right now? Feels good. Crazy. Does the headache kind of come down a little bit? It is. Yeah, it's pretty cold now. Okay, very good. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put your head up into a position, okay? And what I'm going to have you do, it's kind of a little complicated, but not, not too much. What I'm going to have you do is I'm going to put your neck up, turn your little bits sideways to the right, and then what I want you to do when I tell you to is to look at my finger, towards my finger over here when I tap on your head, okay? Yeah. And then we'll hold that for five seconds, and I'll tell you what to do after, all right? All right. Okay. Right there. Sorry. All right. So what I'm gonna have you do now is look over towards my finger. Look over, keep looking, keep looking. Five seconds, very good, relax. Take you a little further in. And now look over here. Keep looking, keep looking. Very good, relax. All right, now do it again. Look over here. Very good, keep looking, keep looking. All right, very good. And relax. Right. So go ahead and sit up for me very quick. Uh, how is your pain feeling for right now, first of all? A little better. Okay, it feels a little better, a little decrease. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just gonna go ahead and check how your move to the right is. Go ahead and move over to the right. What about there? Okay, how does that feel? Uh, more of a, it's better. I, mean, I was able to look a little bit before I saw. You feel like you can look a little further? Mm -hmm. All right, great. Well, you actually did look a little further. 
Um, I'm actually gonna try one more technique. If sure. you don't mind, go ahead and lie back down for me. Sure. seconds and relax all right one more time look up and relax and one more time look up and relax okay very good go ahead and sit back up for me how does that feel now? It feels better. Okay. What I'm going to have you do is now I'm going to have you look back towards the ceiling again. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and go. And up there. Okay. How does that feel? Um, not so bad. I mean, it, uh, definitely, once again, it feels like I got a little bit farther. All right, great. It actually was a little bit further from the beginning. So it looks like those two exercises <coughs> are pretty positive for you, looking good for you. Mm -hmm. All right, so what we're gonna do now, because those exercises work so well, I'm gonna teach you something you can do at home. Mm -hmm. A little exercise you can do to help you get you turning your head over to the side a little better. Mm -hmm. What you're gonna do is you're gonna place a towel, any kind of towel, around the back of your head, preferably up up closer towards your head where you're experiencing your pain. Mm -hmm. What you're gonna do is you're gonna wrap it around this way mm -hmm. and you're gonna help yourself turn over this way. Yeah. Toward the towards the right side. Yeah. Yeah. Just like that. Mm -hmm. And you're gonna do that twice a day mm -hmm. for about thirty seconds. Yeah. For three sets. Got it. So I'm going to the right. Mm hmm. There you go, just like that. Kind of go in and out for 30 seconds. All right, very good. Got the idea pretty good? Mm hmm. Okay. So um, I'm going to like to see you here at the clinic maybe like twice a week for the next six weeks mm -hmm. and we'll start to learn more and new stuff as we go along the road mm -hmm. and hopefully see some more improvement down the road too as well yeah. all right do you have any questions for me no i don't think so not this time all right very good um have you go to the front desk and we'll get you squared up and awesome. ready for your treatment awesome all right, nice all right. Work with you. appreciate it nice